Michael, congratulations. 3 0 win, nine straight legs. Must be delighted with that. Yeah, uh, the result was really good. My game annoyed me a bit. I wasn't at the races, but yeah, knew it was here and I had to set the chances and look where I did. You're quite critical there with the performance. It was still the highest average of the tournament so far, so something, <laughs> something to build on. <laughs> no, I, I didn't think I played that well. Uh, I think that one of the only tournaments it took me eight legs to have a shot at tops. I was hitting double sevens, double nines, double nineteens. I wasn't leaving doubles that I wanted to, I was leaving doubles that I shouldn't be throwing and luckily enough I was hitting them so I was a bit annoyed in that. But yeah, if that's what happens and I still hit them, I'll take it every day of the week. And now you're through to the third round, you can enjoy the Christmas break with your family as well. Yeah, it was 16 days off, you know? it's going to be weird, it's like coming back to a new tournament. But um, I'm going to have, tomorrow I'm going to go and watch football, I'm going to go and watch Preston against QPR. And then I'll probably have Christmas Day off where I'm not going to chuck a dart, but from 17 to 24 and then 26, 27, I'll practice every single day, about four or five hours, get ready for the next game. And you come to this event after winning the Grand Slam of Darts last month, your, your breakthrough win really, your first TV ranking title, so you must be full of confidence here. Yeah, but that's a noisy saying that. <laughs> if you come to this tournament after losing nine events, <laughs> no, 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 I'm, I'm over the moon, I've just not had time to enjoy it. Every time I go and look at a trophy, I'm there for 20 minutes and I'm back on the road again, but that's professional, that's a professional sport. Let alone darts or football or whatever, you, you don't get time to chill and that's what you get. I've, I've got to keep competing and keep doing what I'm doing and the Grand Slam, yes, I won, but I'm in the World Championships now. I'm just focusing on what I can do here, do some real damage and hopefully win the world and then, yeah, become World number one and World at the same time. We've seen players like Michael and, and Gezi over the last few years win their first major and then go on and the floodgates open and they go on and win multiple titles. Is that what you believe you can do now? I've always believed I'll win titles, always. I've never once doubted myself. And I think you've seen maybe when the Premier League and the World was my first one, I was happy to be there and then I lost another final and another and it started to really hurt. I never wanted to give up, I never lost a faith. Made another and well, I've done four this year alone. And yeah, I finally got one and hopefully it does. Hopefully it does open that door now and I can go on to better things. Cheers, brother. Michael, congratulations. Just touching on what you said there, it's the first time I've ever heard you mention the world number one like that. Is that now the title's done? Is that something you want to tick off and do you genuinely believe you can get there? Um, I've always believed since day one, even when I wasn't the best player there ever in the BDC, I wasn't really even good. I knew I could be there and I've got the drive and the determination to do it. But yeah, I think when I lost to Michael four years ago, if I won that game, I would have been world number one then. And last year when I lost to Peter, if I would have won, I would have been number one as well. So I think the World Championship is massive because if you do win it and then I can sit back and then think, no, what, I'm world champion, world number one, I've completed it. <laughs> PDC, I've completed it. And it, it it's one of them, it, it's something I strive for, it's something I've, I've dreamed about and one day I will get it and I won't stop until I do. On the grandstand, you said you haven't had time to enjoy it yet, but just those little bits, those photos, obviously you and the kids and Dagmara on stage, the memories you can cherish forever, the first one with the family. Yeah, they're, they're loving it. Like, even the kids going to school, they tell me, like, the teachers are telling them, well done, well done. And I'm doing the school run, picking them up, dropping them off, and you just can't concentrate because I've dropped them off and they think about going to practice, finish practice, then I pick them straight up. Please. I don't want to think about what's just happened, I want to think about what's going to happen and maybe I'm wrong in doing it because I, I should sit back and enjoy it but I don't want to sit on my morals, I want to, I want to achieve a lot more than what I have done. Like you said as well, long break mate, do you approach it as a new tournament? And is, is that the mindset, let's get the, this one out of the way and then come back after Christmas and you're here then for the duration? I've never been in this, uh, the situation now, I, I normally play 21st, 22nd around that time, so I need to get like two days off, maybe three, come back boxing there. So it, it feels a bit weird now, playing second day and I've got 12 days off, 12, no, 11 days off, play on the 12. So it does feel weird, but it's a new challenge. <laughs> and make sure I put the hard work in, out the 11 days, I'll practice nine solid, because tomorrow I won't play and Christmas day I won't play. So every single day I'll practice as hard as I can and get ready for it and yeah, it's just, it's still the world challenge, that's the thing. I've been practicing 12 months, yeah, you, do, you don't do two weeks prior to this, you do 12 months prior. As soon as I lost to Peter, two days later I was back on the board, getting ready for this one event again. Well, congratulations. Thank you as well.
Michael, does it feel like the weight's been lifted off your shoulders mm -hmm. with that Grand Slam when you can play with a bit more freedom now you've, you've silenced those critics? Yeah, of course it does. Um, I'm fine on that top table. I've been, uh, Dave will get me if I'm wrong, I think six Premier Leagues, five, six, and every single year I've been in, even this year, every single year I've been in there, I've never ever won a major. The only player in the Premier League never to win one. Now I can go to, hopefully I'm picked for next year, no one knows, but hopefully I'm picked and I can finally say, you know what, I belong to be here now. I'm not just getting picked on winning floor tournaments and good runs in TV. I'm here for a reason, I finally won that event and that makes me proud and happy of what I've achieved. Is this the best you've ever felt coming into a World Championship? Um, I don't know, because uh, it's only the first game. Uh, I mean, I've said it on many interviews, when I get to the quarterfinals, I think I'm in an event and that's when you think about it. So for now, I've just done my job up there, like playing what I've been <coughs> practicing for. Maybe in two more games when you ask me that question, I could answer it a lot better than I just did now. Um, Michael, when you got that Grand Slam win, you got a lot of thanks and congratulations from the fellow pros. How, how much did that mean? Yeah, the first text I got was a fan going. Like, well done mate, you deserved it, it's about time. And then the week later he won the players to text him, nothing. Just ignored me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just ignored Every time I text him he just ignores me. When he texts me I reply straight away, but no, it was good. Just just every every player sent me a message about time, not congratulations, well done, about time. So it, it felt it felt deserved when I won it, I didn't because every all me I see co workers are telling you that mate about time you've done it, congratulations, all the best, and then hey, it does feel good. That's why it still makes me feel speechless trying to explain how I feel over it. Yeah, that's all, Michael. Cheers. Yeah, cheers, bro. Michael.